all right everyone welcome i'm back with another video we are gonna be continuing the unreal combat series yada yada i'm having my headphones on just to make sure that i don't have a video in the background which i don't seem to have so that's fine uh, so let me just put these there perfect um, so yeah, it's been a while since I posted a video, had lots to do uh, with work and everything, but now I'm gonna jump right back into it. Uh, and let's see, here we go, yeah, perfect. So, um, in the last video we made sure that we can equip our weapon. I'm just gonna make sure that everything is replicating and everything is working, because I sometimes forget that. Uh, so we have the weapon, we can pick it up, if we run over to our other character, I can see myself there, having the weapon, perfect, uh, and if I equip, we can see that it is equipped there as well, perfect. So, we can put it back to our, and we still need to sync up the animations, it's moving a little bit, sync up the slot we should move that slightly to make it not snap to the hand uh, actually let's do that real fast mm -hmm. jump to the skeleton I hope everything is working I already did this video once uh, that's why it's so long ago since I posted because I I downloaded some uh, attack animations and didn't, didn't work with root motion and yada 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 so so the video became like an hour long and I didn't really achieve anything so uh, I'm doing this one instead from scratch so as you can see we are not the sword is snapping a little bit and it's because of this location so if we go back into the game we can see that it should be slightly more rotated and oops probably something like that and also it clips a bit with the mesh so i'm just gonna move it out a bit let's see if that looks better No, still not. Mm. Uh, you could actually sync this up with an animation notifier as well, but I prefer to do it this way. Mm -hmm. That should be fine. Save, save all. Actually, it should be all the way back to it. It's, it's not the best animation, to be honest. Um, because he's, he's really moving his head straight back. Usually, you, you want to have the hand somewhere around here. So, maybe we'll switch that out later. It looks better now, at least. Even though it still snaps a little bit. But, uh, yeah. We're probably gonna find a better reanimation later. As you can see, it's it's also interfering with the mesh, but it's fine for now. Uh, perfect. So in this video, we are gonna finally start with the attacks and the combo system. So um, yeah, first we need to get some uh, attack animations because we don't have that yet. So. Uh, luckily Unreal Engine, if we go into our marketplace, uh, we have lots of lots of lots of free content. Uh, if we go into Epic Games content, you have all your free content here. I can see they just added some stuff from City of Brass with like some uh, enemies and stuff like that. So maybe they have some animations. I'm gonna check that out in between videos. But for now, we are just going to go with uh, the Paragon assets. So if you go to, uh, basically, you can just search for Paragon. And these are 
pretty much AAA characters used by Epic Games at some point in a game called Paragon, and they are all free. So go ahead and and they all have animations and things like that. So ooh, I want to check him out later. Uh, we're gonna add. I added Greystone because these are all different characters. I added Greystone and a character called Kohang, but you can obviously choose whichever one you want and check out all of their animations. They are a bit sizey though, so I wouldn't add too many. Uh, or maybe add them one at a time. I think they're like two, three gigabytes each or something. Um, so not really that low poly. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go with, or maybe it's the textures that are taking up the sp space. Usually it is, so. Mm. So yeah, you can see that I have my Paragon and uh, Paragon, two Paragon folders here, Quang and Greystone. And if you go into um, the character, heroes, Greystone, animations, you can see that we have a lot of animations here. I realize I should have done this before because he need, I needs to compile the shadows, so that's probably why it takes a while to open. So I'm gonna pause the video for a little while. And we are back. Perfect. So in this folder, now that I have compiled all the shadows, or not shadows, uh, whatever it is, um, bum, bum, bum. we can see that we have a lot of animations. Oh, sorry, still need to compress. So in this folder, we have a lot of different animations. Ultimate, Frozen, Attack. So what we want to do is we want to grab some of these animations and move them over to the to our skeleton because right now you can see that these uh, use a different skeleton than the skeleton that we are using for our character you can see here for instance he does not have the uh, have a lot of different sockets and everything so it looks a little bit different so it's not the same skeleton so we can't just apply this animation to our character because it's not going to work because uh, we, need, as I said, we need to adapt it to our skeleton. So if we go into our own character instead, here we have our skeleton. You can see that it looks different. We have our own sockets and everything. So what we want to do is we want to... If you go to your character, play a third person character, Right click, and I think you should find put a find skeleton. Maybe not. If you just go to ah, where is it? Mm. Blueprints. No. Where did I put the mannequin? There. Perfect. Here we have our player. Yeah, I already renamed it. Perfect. Player UE4 mannequin skeleton. So this is basically what we want. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to create a rig. Where do I do that now again? Create. So if you right click on your skeleton, create and create rig. And just keep everything selected because this is all the bones in our uh, skeleton that we are using. And OK. And here we have the rig for our player U for mannequin skeleton. So what we want to do is we want to assign this rig to our um, to our Greystone animations. So if we go back to Greystone, or actually you can just go into the Greystone skeleton and on the retarget manager, so this is where we assign stuff for the retarget, um, you could just do humanoid rig, I think as well, but this way is easier since we already have our skeleton. Because if you can do humanoid rig and then assign both your own skeleton a humanoid rig and this one a humanoid rig, and they would see each other. But we're just going to do it like this. Actually, we can probably do that. No. Uh, let's do it like this instead. 
let's assign the uh, rig that we just made. Player UE4 skill uh, mannequin skeleton, because that assigns all the bones so that they should be named the same in this character and our character because if bones aren't named the same uh, the animations are gonna look really weird that should be it uh, perfect then we can go into our character mm -mm. heroes greystone animations and if we just get attack a medium Let's do this one. Right click, retarget anim asset, duplicate anim asset, and retarget. Let's do that. And in this list here, you aren't gonna find your skeleton. If you if you choose humanoid rig on both your skeletons, you 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 can find your skeleton here. So that's also one way to do it. But you aren't doing that now, as you can see, because we we see the preview for the Greystone character, but not for our own. So what you need to do is remove this show only compatible skeletons and then we have our player ue4 mannequin skeleton here then we can retarget we should actually choose a folder first so we want to go to prefab now we already have the animations game player attacks i'm just gonna put them in another folder for now And retarget. Perfect. You can see I already have some attacks here that I downloaded from Excel and things like that, but they didn't really work and they didn't look good and they didn't work with root motion. So but here we can see. Here we have our attack now working with our own skeleton. And you can see that it it looks a little bit a little bit weird so we probably need to change the hand socket as well so if we go to our skeleton and you can use preview animation I'm just gonna rename it player attack a preview animation player attack a so this preview animation lets us check out the animation when we are actually editing the socket so that we can make sure it looks good. We have the equip sword, so we should probably pull it down a little bit, maybe, maybe a little bit like that, maybe even like that. There we go. That looks a lot better. Perfect. And let's do the same with a couple more animations. I want three or something like that. And we have this attack a medium. Do we have attack B? We have an attack B as well. Let's take this one. And do we have an attack C as well? Yeah, that's fine. So let's attack B medium, attack C medium. We're gonna take, you can take whichever animations you want and, and whichever character you want, but I'm gonna do this. Uncheck show only compatible skeletons. Once again, select the player, change to the folder you want to and retarget we're all 15 minutes already perfect um, I'm wondering if I should pause there and just do another video maybe I should do that because uh, it's already 14 minutes okay perfect let's do one more thing or a few more thing uh, okay it's looking really good 
let's rename them. There we go. Ooh. All right, so I think there are probably already a shit ton of videos uh, with the retargeting of the Unreal, uh, of the uh, Paragon animations. So I'm thinking if I should do a video of that separately like this and then jump into the next, because the next part will probably take a little while as well. So I don't want a video to be like an hour. Yeah, okay, let's pause it here and uh, I'm gonna upload this part and then I'm gonna straight jump straight into the to another video which is gonna be the attack stuff but at least now we have the animations uh, so yeah thanks see you in a couple of seconds bye